My name is Jesse Grismer. I'm pursuing a graduate or PhD degree or dissertation degree in herpetology. My father's a herpetologist as well, so that's kind of how I got into the game was I grew up a little kid watching him and his students do research in Baja California and other parts of Latin America. And I just always enjoyed it. I always thought it was really, really cool. Our colleague, this guy, Neo Van Tree, who this new species is named after, we just, we just call him Tree for the, the sake of pronunciation. He's a real go-getter. Like, he does all this stuff on his own dime, and he really just hard charges, goes out to these places, and goes, goes to places that no one's ever thought to go to. He knew that I was working on Lyolepis for my master's research, and he also knew that my father and I had kind of like this ongoing uh, interest in Lyolepis for a long time. So he took it upon himself to go to southern Vietnam and collected a large series of these things, uh, sent me tissues for DNA analysis, and he sent me pictures of the specimens. And they looked just like the females of the already known species that we thought existed there. So I just, I just assumed it was that. So I started sequencing the DNA. What happened was, is when sequencing the mitochondrial DNA to see who the maternal lineage or the mitochondrial eve of these asexual species is, and so this population that Tree had found in Southern Vietnam kept, kept coming out closely related to all the other asexuals. I called up my father. I said, hey, do you have those specimens that Tree sent? And he said, yeah. I said, take a look at them, but compare them to other asexuals. We kind of came to the conclusion that no kidding, uh, Tree had found this new population of new asexual species. So just getting to the place was an, was an eight-hour motorcycle ride. Uh, just basically weaving on these back roads and we go through village tree knew all these like shortcuts We didn't know where we were going. So we're just following him. We've known for a long time that people throughout Indochina uh, Eat the genus Lyolepis because they're very common. They're a large lizard And so just like anywhere else, you know, just like in the United States if, if something's available You're going you're going to eat it. We saw two You know by on our own and they're just so difficult to catch and so we went back to this restaurant owner where a tree and said he originally saw them and the guy was like oh no he's got like 60 of them waiting for you guys and so we get there and you know i can't blame him he had a bunch of customers come in he was like well too bad and cooked them all up and sold them but uh so he pointed us where we could go and so we went and found some other local people and they showed us how to catch them and stuff like that and that's how we finally got them but we actually went back to the restaurant and said do you have any more and the guy said yeah he actually had a couple more so we ate some of them it's a taste that unfortunately only i think a herpetologist can relate to and then when we got back in the lab, we were able to sit down and we basically laid out all the other known asexuals, including this new one, and then just came up with a set of morphological characters and just basically created a key to try and diagnose it from other populations if we could. And it turns out there were some really unique uh, characteristics that separated this from all the other asexuals. And on top of that, it's geographically isolated. It's the only asexual in southern Vietnam. Elucidates the fact that there's a lot to be discovered out there. Like if, you know, we're still finding species at new species that's, you know, at this accelerating rate, at the fact that which some of them are even being eaten by local people, it speaks to the fact that, you know, there's still a lot to be discovered out there and a lot to be explored, which I think is a good thing.